I'm going to begin, guys, by asking, I mean, just what was the initial uh, sort of attraction to getting involved in this project? Tom. Tom. Uh, it was, yeah, for both of us, I think we had the th same thing, is that we were, the project was brought up to us, and then the idea of being in a big summer action movie with Tom Cruise, and we were both in those action scenes together. It seemed like an opportunity you can't really pass up. Yeah, because, I mean, Jake, there's one scene where you're sort of running kind of two or three feet behind him with a gun. I mean, that yeah. must have been really, really cool to shoot. It was. It looked cool to look at. It was really neat. It was, yeah. uh, he, it's, it was kind of the most fun to do with Tom because he's so into it. So I've never done scenes with somebody who is so enthusiastic, take after take, and has a vision for the whole thing. Mm. And so it really made my job easy because a lot of times when I do the kind of jobs I get, there's a lot of improv and discussion, and they want you to come up with a lot. What's mm. nice about working with Tom is he's thought about it a lot. So all mm. you have to do is show up as an actor and do your job. Mm -hmm. and it actually made the mummy really pre really pleasant. Mm. Uh, well, you know, I, I, and it, because he's so well prepared, you know, we, he makes everyone else step their game up. Yeah. You really have to, you have to be ready, and you have to, you know, knowing that he's probably going to say, you know what, let's try like this. The, yeah. let's, let's do, do this, this like this. Let's do it a different way. Let's let's try. Let's, you know what? You guys take a break. We're going to redo the scene. That's, oh, yeah, that's right. So, I mean, it's... Um, we had a scene we shot all morning, ooh. and then there was just something that didn't feel right, and we all felt it. But, right. you know, you don't say anything as an actor. It just didn't feel right. And Tom finally was like, all right, everybody stop. We're rethinking this whole thing. They re-blocked it, yeah. changed some dialogue, and then that scene's obviously the one in the movie now. Because, I mean, also, I mean, Alex has sort of come into this project as a really successful producer. Do you think that makes a difference when, as a director? Do you think he's got a more of a kind of all-knowing kind of, uh, I don't know, approach to the whole thing? No, I, I think you, you really, as a director, you really have to be willing and able to collaborate with the Tom with Tom Cruise. You really have to be, because he's as as Jake said, he's restarted. He sees the whole thing. So as a director, you you really have to make sure your your vision and his vision at all times are the same. That's right. And it takes it takes a the check the ego. Yeah, and also Alex is check a great it. story guy. Right. Alex is part of his expertise, apart from being great at working with people, mm -hmm. is that he really understands stories. So even if Tom or somebody throws out a new idea, Alex's first thought is always, how do I work this into the whole thing? Mm -hmm. And so it was a really nice thing having like a top of the line, you know, writer on set with us all the time as our director. Mm. Mm. Uh, and Jake, I mean, because you're almost on hand to provide in some regards some of the comic relief in this movie. That, and is that a, quite of an enjoyable kind of burden <laughs> to, to fall onto your lap, to have that kind of is pressure? He, is he saying you're the butt of the... The butt of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is, is yeah. that what he's saying? Yeah, no, I feel are comfortable you, are with you gonna that. Are you going to work that into the, the answer? Yeah, be, being question. the butt of the jokes of this movie was a burden <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, no, you know, it's fun. It's the, the truth is, it's uh, especially for a thing like this, the jokes go where they were written. Mm. And so they were written for my character at times. And so what was nice about playing Vale, for example, was sometimes it was drama, sometimes it was action, sometimes it was scare, sometimes it was laugh. There wasn't one tone of this movie. Mm. So every scene you kind of approached it and it felt new. Mm. Yeah, because I mean, Courtney, I mean lot, the last time I saw, saw you in was Office Christmas Party, which couldn't be more different from this. I mean, do you quite enjoy I was the bat. Yeah. You were? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, I mean, that must be quite fun to move between genres like this. It must keep things so kind of exciting and original as an actor. Well, you know, it, you, as, a, as an actor, it, it, it takes a minute to, you know, to get to the place where people can see you and, you know, you have to struggle to, you know, you do this and they don't think you can go over here. And then you go over there and they don't think you can go back. And so, and to get to that place where you can be in the middle and go either place and be cast to go either place is the, is the dream. And I think that's where... You know, that's where we're at now. I mean, you're, are, are you going to be a butt next? I'm going to be a butt next? Yeah, you know, you yeah. were the butt here, so now you're going to be the head somewhere. Oh, you, I you have to go. You have to go somewhere else now. You can't be the butt again. How about I just go to the front of the butt, see what happens over there? Uh, you could try that. Let's see what happens. See what Tom says. See how that's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today. Much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys.